Hey everyone, how y'all doing out there? I have to say it is rainy and yucky this week and I'm telling you what, it has got me in just, uh, but I have to say that it's okay because it's getting it out of its way, the rain is pouring and it's, and it's going to be over with because next week is my spring break and I have um, some time off, so I'm excited. So. I just wanted to talk today about confidence. I was sitting here thinking, I haven't made a video in a while. And you know, I, I, I talked about last time. So I'm wearing, oh yeah, I'm wearing my winter stuff right now in April because it's so cold right now. Can you imagine? I mean, it's crazy. So I've got this warm sweater on, um, warm pants, and it's it's freezing. So last year I was wearing all my spring spring clothes and all excited about the warm weather and 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 just just thrilled and then this week it's like boom it starts raining and it's just been ah anyway such is life right just as we can't predict the weather um we can't predict our the way we're going to feel we can't predict about our different personalities we can't predict um, the things that are going to happen in our future. The only thing we can do is day by day. What can we do day by day? So I wanted to talk about confidence because I know it doesn't have anything to do with the weather or anything, but, but, uh, it kind of does when it comes to your mood, it kind of, um, when it's a sunnier, nicer day, it's, it's, it's put on your sunglasses and, and, just, oh, just, just forget it. You know, it's bright and just put on your comp, your confident sunglasses and you go out there and you tackle the day, right? Uh, you got your shades on, you got your cool outfit, you're feeling confident, you got your head held high and you're feeling good about yourself. Well, that's what confidence is all about. So I know if I don't take these sunglasses off right now that somebody will be on here and say, well, Girl, why do you need your sunglasses? You're inside. You know, people will say and do the things that they're feeling at the time, where whether it's comments or whether it's um, seeing somebody in real and just saying what's on their mind at the time, no filter, no uh, thinking about things before they say it. But all that you have control over is your confidence and your ability to make yourself have a great day, regardless of this, the rain, regardless of what people say, regardless of what happens in your life, you have the ability to wake up every day, get out of bed and feel confident at any age, at any body type, at any any age, any body type, at any stage of your life, really, because confidence really is what we all want, but sometimes we don't know how to achieve it or how to get it. And if you're a confident person, it does not come overnight. Maybe for some people it does. Um, but even if you're a beautiful person, even if you're you feel you got everything together. Everybody thinks you've got everything together. We all have things that we don't feel confident about, like certain parts of our body, certain things that are going on in our life, um, things that have happened to us, bullying, whatever. So it takes a lot of work to feel confident and be confident. But I promise you, if you are confident, if you wake up and you just train yourself to be confident, confident, positive self, confident in your abilities because you have special talents and gifts that nobody else has. You have things that you can do that come easy for you that um, others may struggle with. Other people may have things that they do that, that, they, they, that come easy for them that you would struggle with. So if you focus on, if you wake up with a confident spirit and you focus on all the gifts and talents that you have, that, that you love to do and you feel confident about it, even if it's a hobby, if it's 
uh, a job you love, if it's that you cl like to clean houses and nobody does, if you like to um, organize and nobody, you know, whatever that is, you know what you love to do. And I believe those are gifts and talents that we have that we really need to utilize. And when we utilize those, that builds our confidence up and life becomes a whole lot easier. So I wanted to talk to you about that. I wanted to talk to you about what it is it that you do and you love to do. I want you to take a minute and think about it right now. Just take, I know life is busy and crazy and, and you hate, sometimes you hate videos like this because you have to think, oh my gosh, I just would, I just would rather you see you in your bra, bra uh, doing a workout video or something like that. Why do you think I do those workout videos? Because that's something that I like to do it. It's become a hobby for three years now, uh, something that motivates me and something that I like to do. And it's not for everybody, and I understand, but there's certain things that I like to do that keep me motivated, so I keep doing them. And that's the, the basis of life, is to find those things that make you feel confident and make that are easy for you. And do it. Run with it. Why do you think these people that have started their own businesses, um, they have had this idea and they've thought about it and they've refined it and it has become their passion and they have made it into this multi-million dollar idea and maybe nobody else in their family or, or, or they couldn't tell anybody because nobody would understand. They'd think you were crazy, right? Well, when I had this idea um, to do private videos, you know, I'm sure everybody in my world thought I was nuts. But when I put aside the fact of worrying about what everybody else was going to think or say or do and just zo tuned into my passion and a hobby that would actually be something that would actually get me in better shape something that would actually give my creativity a chance to flourish, something that actually I could make money at. It became this passion of mine. And you have to not care who cares. So that builds your confidence. And you have to be courageous enough to follow that. And when you follow whatever that is for you and make it something that builds, builds your confidence. Like your head just becomes higher and you rise higher and you feel better about yourself and you don't care who cares. And you feel that you're doing something wonderful, whatever that is. And if it get, and I've always been, I've always thought if you could find something that you love and then figure out a way to get paid for it, how great would it be to wake up every day? How great would it be to be alive? Because every day you would be challenging yourself to do something that you love and then figure out a way to make money. And, and if it's a hobby and then you find a way to make money off of your hobby, how beautiful. How many people go to jobs that they absolutely hate every single day? And they do their best to be confident and they go in there and they just, oh, here we go again. And I know work is work and, and it's not supposed to be fun. Some people say because it's a job and it's work. But what if you could find something that you could be confident about and that you could live every day to your fullest and have this zest and this passion and then you could spread it all around and that life didn't have to be miserable and that you didn't have to be affected by the rain outside and the clouds and by by people's personalities that you wouldn't have to be affected by bullies and hurtfulness because you have built this confidence within yourself that you know you're not all those things that maybe people have said about you. You're not stupid. You're not ugly. You're not unworthy. You're not that person that people have labeled you to be. What if you could be that confident person that stood tall 
no matter what weight you are and no matter what you look like and you can have the ability to do the things that you love how perfect would that life be right so today I just wanted to talk and share that and put that out I felt that I needed to make a video on that confidence and you know confidence is so sexy and confidence is so infectious and when you see videos and you you can tell the people that are confident and you can tell people who are um, low self-esteem and you can really get to know the difference between the two and become the confident person do things positive quotes and things surround yourself with confidence and when you become confident it becomes infectious and the more people you start attracting like that and people look at people in their eyes when you talk to them and ooze this confidence that that is sexy and it makes you feel good and you'll start to do things that you love and you won't even think about or care what anybody else thinks about it because it's what makes you confident. It's what keeps you alive. It's what lights the fire within your body that says, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to be doing and I don't care who cares. And it doesn't always have to be the, the conventional way like, oh, we got we to gotta go to college and we've got to work this job we hate for the rest of our life and we've got to do this and we've got to have 3.5 kids and we've got to have a house and we've got to have brand new cars and we've got to keep up with the Joneses and we've got to do all these things that maybe are going to make you miserable and stressed out and why not go back to just the simplicity of nature and listening to maybe your inner voice that tells you what you love and find that peace and that confidence and that zest for life and the thing that just makes you smile even when you think about it you know if you close your eyes and you think about oh I would really love to do this but what would people think oh my gosh and then you get stopped in your tracks because you're so worried about what everybody else might think so I want to challenge you today I know for me in my life this has been huge for me because I was such a people pleaser but for the first time in my 45 years I feel confident and it's not because I'm a size that I you know a little teeny size it's because I feel good in my own skin and I'm not afraid to show it and I'm not afraid of my sexuality and I'm not afraid to speak my mind and share my thoughts and and put videos out here that people may go oh you know you have to find that for yourself and if nothing else, I hope this video will enlighten you today to look deep inside and find out what your passion is and find out what makes you feel confident. And if you don't know, then you got some work to do. But this is the time of life, 2015, to, to figure it out. To don't be depressed and, and be waiting for somebody else to do something for you to take your life into your own hands so that's what i'm saying to you today that's what i'm doing for myself it feels so good it feels great to do what i love and i don't care who cares and so i just want to encourage you all to maybe write something down that you've been afraid to do um, for fear of being judged or something that makes you feel confident that may be kind of twerky or quirky like singing in the shower Running naked through the house and cleaning. Um, turning up the, the radio really loud when nobody's home and dancing through the house. I do that. when nobody. What would you do when nobody's watching that makes you put that smile on your face? Think about that. and Maybe write some comments down below. Help us all out because that's what this channel is here for. Ursula TV is just here for everything, all areas of your life. The good, the bad, the ugly. The working out, the, the sex exercise, the, the things that put the smile on your face, things that make you feel confident, um, sexy sunglasses, sexy, yes, sexy sunglasses are coming back, baby. All different colors, all different shades, flowers on the sides, sexy bikinis, because that makes me feel confident. 
sexy sports bra, sexy workout clothes, sexy dresses. Oh yeah, I'm going to bring all the confidence to this channel. And I pray that all you women out there, all you men out there, just get a little bit sexier and more confident in your own skin, no matter what age, no matter what weight, just get sexy. Why not? Get confident. Confident oozes sexuality. And the more confident you are, the sexier you become. So mwah, peace out.